Hello everybody and welcome back to an update for the previous video that I made on how to edit your settings for vRising. In this video I'm going to be going through a few of the changes that were made during the Gloomrot update. There's a few things that have been changed that made um, editing your settings a lot easier. And in this video I'm going to go through that. Hi, right, Future Dread here. I just wanted to put a quick disclaimer at the beginning of the video that I forgot to put in. Um, make sure that you please back up your files before you edit anything. Um, chances of losing things are low in this guide but there's still a chance so make sure that you back up your settings and your saves before you edit anything i also just want to mention before we start anything there are a few settings that once changed in v rising would require you to do an extra step so for example changing the crafting and refining speeds would require you to remove and then replace down the workstations that are affected by that setting as well as anything to do with your vampire settings would require you to recraft the gear that you are wearing. And as well as the resource yield setting, if you want to change that setting, you would have to first destroy any of the gen already generated resources. And then the next time you go through, those resources will have the updated generation. This would only affect resources that have been generated by you running around. Anything in areas that you haven't visited yet should have the new setting applied to it once you visit that area. So without any further delay, let's get right into it. So first thing you want to do, we're going to have to open a few settings folders. So the first one you want to do is open up your Steam. Right click onto your vRising. Make sure vRising is open for this one. You need to have vRising open. Right click on your Steam, hit Properties. You want to go to Local Files and click Browse. You can close Steam once you've done that. Once you're in the Steam folder, you want to go to vRising server, vRising server data, streaming assets, and then finally settings. In here, you want to open the server game settings.json. Once again, this file does not need to be edited, so do not edit this file. This, this file is just the master settings file that vRising uses when it first shows you your settings. This won't change anything in your game, but we are going to need it in a second, so just put it off to the side and then minimize it. In the vRising menu, you want to go to continue and you want to go to the world that settings you want to edit then you want to click go to directory and this will take you straight to the location of your save once you're in here you want to hit server game settings.json as well move this one off to the side as well then after that point you want to open both settings files make sure that you remember which one's which immediately one of the changes that i noticed that they made when i was checking through the settings again to make sure that the video is still updated is that now whenever you create a server it only imports the settings that you changed into this file that's not a problem it's easy enough to work around all right so as a quick test let's go see detailed settings and let's have a look and see if there's a setting that we want to change for this example let's use costal blood essence drain rate let's use that one as an example open your two settings files and in the master settings file since this is a castle settings you want to look for specifically castle setting you want to see castle essence drain modifier here it is yeah make sure that you copy the whole line of text and then simply click in a random location and paste the setting once you've pasted the setting change the setting to whichever setting you want to change it to and then hit save then make sure that you go back click continue once again Go to here, see detailed settings, and you'll see that the setting has been changed. And once that's done, go back into the game, your settings will be changed. And that is all you need to do. One thing I am going to mention real quick is that there is actually one other way that you can do this, uh, which involves creating a new server. So all you would have to do, click play, private session, change the settings in here that you want to change make sure that all the settings you want changed are there and working correctly so for example say that you wanted the teleport bound items to be turned off you would turn it off here you would hit save go back and you would start the new game after that game has been started you want to back out of the game go to continue click on the server that you created with the settings you want to add to your old server click go to directory you would then copy the server game settings.json file and then you would paste it into the directory of your actual server that you want to play right click paste and then the settings will be changed once again once you have pasted the new settings make sure you go back and hit continue and then check and see if your settings were changed but that is it for this quick update video 
If you liked it and this video helped you out, please feel free to hit that like button. If you have any questions, I will answer them down in the comments below. And subscribe if you feel like I deserve it. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.